Hi, my name is Thijs Bootsma, and in my job, I help companies move their maintenance strategies from reactive and time-based to data-driven and proactive. In this video, I'd like to talk about the single best tool for doing that in the context of water treatment systems. There are many kinds of data you can use for predictive condition monitoring. Vibration, heat, oil, current, voltage, and so on. Each of these is great at some things and weaker at others. So the optimal asset management strategy is going to combine them to use the best technique for each asset, each process, and each failure mode. So what I'd like to do in this video is to zoom in in one of these. It's a technique called motor current signature analysis or MCSA. MCSA systems analyze electrical data, current and voltage, that makes them particularly useful for some of the specific features that define water systems. First, current and voltage sensors do not install directly on the equipment. They install on the power lines in the motor control cabinet. This is a clear advantage for things like blowers, pumps, mixers and so on that are maybe submerged in flocculence or sludge, maybe exposed to the elements outdoors, maybe six feet down a wet well in a sewage pumping station. The sensors are safe from all these operational hazards that might damage or destroy them. And the installers are also safe from those hazards. But the advantage goes even further. That's because the current and voltage signals contain information about the entire asset, from bearings to gears to couplings to motor. This is a huge win over systems like vibration, where the location and orientation of the sensor determines how well it will pick up the changes that signal degradation. Don't get me wrong, vibration is a great condition monitoring tool, and it can be a valuable part of your overall predictive strategy. But there are many, many places in water systems where the parameters of the process make it impossible for vibration analysis to provide the accuracy and reliability that you will get from an MCSA system. The second key aspect is that there is a lot of additional information in current and voltage data that isn't present in any other types of machine health data. I'm talking about detailed energy and performance metrics that go way beyond just tracking developing faults. And MCSA systems get these detailed energy and performance metrics for free because they're already collecting the necessary data. This is particularly interesting for water systems because one of the metrics you can derive from current and voltage data is a real-time pump performance curve. We've put out a 15-minute video that explains how we create the pump performance information in our MCSA system. So I won't go into full details here, but I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to know more. But this is a tool that right away can help you dramatically increase your pump lifetime and dramatically decrease energy use. As an example, Using our pump performance dashboard, one of our clients identified three pumps where they could sa save 90,000 euros a year in energy alone. I hope this has been a helpful addition to your research on predictive maintenance. And I wish you the best of luck in putting together the very best strategy for your water systems.